LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's two large hooks at the top corners and two smaller hooks at the top corners. What you want to do is get something thin and, and um, strong enough to bend these bottom pieces, or I shouldn't say bottom, um, because these pieces change position. Sometimes the larger ones can be at the bottom or to the left and right. So I'm going to say the smaller pieces, you have to bend them upward, like that, and uh, then you get your pieces, which are these right here. And uh, we're going to click these two pieces together to make one piece right now. Uh, you start out by determining the position of the first large piece, which is this. You can see that at the bottom it has two holes, like square holes. And at the middle, there's two sticks going inside, I mean inward. Then um, at the top, there's two larger sticks those large sticks have to go wherever the two large hooks are on the keyboard. In this case they're up, so we face those up. Now make sure not to put the whole thing upside down like this by feeling the top half, the bot bottom half of the whole piece. It's supposed to be thinner and the difference is only on the bottom. On top it's just one smooth piece but at the bottom you can feel a difference in thickness. The top is thicker than the bottom, so that part has to face down and the smooth part faces up. Now you know the position for that piece, put it down for now. And same thing with this. The top has a thicker um, uh, line or piece than the bottom half. So. In this case, that's supposed to face up, and the bottom is supposed to be just um, one piece, smooth piece. So, also, you can see that at the top, it has two sticks going inward, and at the bottom, it has two sticks going outward. The larger sticks that are at the bottom, in this case, uh, have to go wherever the uh, two small hooks are. In this case they're at the bottom so we face the sticks at the bottom and in the middle there's two holes where the sticks that are in the middle of this large piece are going to go into. So what you want to do is put the large piece over the small piece like that and then um, insert one of the sticks of the large piece into the holes of the smaller piece right through the middle like that. Okay, we have one side. We hold on to that side and then what you want to do is just pull the larger piece in order for the, the space to actually allow the stick to go in. Now both pieces are one. What you want to do is insert the top sticks um, into the large hooks. Once you have that, you hold it in place with your other hand and you push down on the other end. Then um, 
with your same blade or something hard that you may have, you push down on the hooks in order for them to grab onto the plastic pieces there. Okay, you put your cup in, then you get your key, you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. Alright, and that's it.